77% of people got this 11 plus question wrong. That's quite a clickbait opening. Let me give you some context. I found this question in a CGP sample paper and thought, huh, that's particularly spicy. Let me see how our audience gets on. So we posted it in the stories. 2,000 people answered and nearly 1,600 of them got it wrong. Let's see the question. How many thirds are there in nine? Now, it appears in the test as a multiple choice question with five possible answers, three, 18, nine, 27, and 30. But the polling feature only allows four options, so I eliminated nine before posting. About 20 people went for 30, but most of them did message to say they'd clicked it by mistake. About 50 people went for 18, and the remaining people picked three or 27. So which is it? And why did so many people get it wrong? Well, the first trap that you or the 10 year olds that are taking this test could fall into is misreading or misinterpreting the question as how many threes are there in nine? If you consider the fact that they've spent years drilling their times tables so they can answer 4,000 questions in 6.8 seconds, they're likely to blurt out three threes and nine like a sleeper agent who just heard their activation phrase. But it's wrong. Back to sleep times tables operatives. The next trap is the way we think about thirds. Every whole amount is made up of three thirds, right? I could cut this pen into three equal parts. Each part would be a third of a pen. So the whole pen would be three thirds. We can even think of numbers that way. We can cut the number nine into three equal parts. Each part is a third of nine. In that sense, nine is made up of three thirds. In that sense, everything is made up of three thirds. If you took it to court, you'd have a pretty decent case for three being the answer. Let me tell you, worse mathematical blunders have been committed in a courtroom. But if you chose three, you'll be overruled because it's not the correct answer. So what does this question actually want from us? It wants us to recognize a third as a number on the number line, a third of the way between zero and one. There are three thirds in one. There are six thirds in two. With every whole number, we get another three thirds. So we have nine, that's nine lots of three thirds nine lots of three, which is, sorry to the 77% of you, 27 thirds. Don't shoot the mathinger. Now let me know what you thought of this question. Is it too tough for a 10 year old? Is it open to interpretation? Let me know in the comments.